small kid. <laughs> like, I found like, hey, this. Man, we're still in the middle of a battle here. I found an al albino rat. <laughs> Not well, only is it the original pirate crew versus the marines versus us, but now we're having a mutiny. <laughs> right now. Well, if it were uh, if it were a former captain, he'd be in there trying to take advantage of her. You mean you? Because you mean you mean that Try. you mean you mean that Ragnar that stole that poor person, woman's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, so the spiritual weapon hit, but not for much. That's fine. Death by a thousand cuts. Scrimshaw looks over at you, Ragnar. He's like, "Are we? Are we going over there? Or are they coming? <laughs> up? What are we doing here? Like, you're the captain. What are we doing here?" Yeah, they'll kill him. All right. Grimshaw grabs onto through a rope and falls in the doesn't water. Doesn't die miserably. <laughs> doesn't swing into a fire. <laughs> but also does not hit. Yeah. All right, raise you. I'm, I'm going to the other boat too. Can't be shown up by the generic NPC. Genera, bro. But I don't miss. <laughs> That'll hit. Yeah. You're almost as strong as Spiff. So you swing over and pretty much just like stab him in the chest and you swing in. He's still stuck on your sword, dark lid, and staring at you like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> you just stabbed me. I just smile and wave with my other hand. <laughs> what the Once I go up the steps and kill this other dude, will I be on the same level as those other two on the aft deck? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Not quite. Poor Scylla's no match for armor. Right. I blame the bird because it wasn't giving flanking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure. You can make uh, another attack opportunity. All right, one moment. Can't spell squawk. <laughs> I give up. I can't spell squawk. <laughs> All right, I will go ahead and make my attack opportunity. All right, that misses. Uh, twenty-one is your AC, correct? Yep, twenty-one. All right. Yeah, he hits you with another bolt for four damage. All right, I tank it. Ragnar, you catch a crossbow bolt from the other marine on the aft deck. Five damage. All right. Yeah, one attack still. The other one feebly attacks Raziel with his mouth of blood. Alright, Razor will take four, so take not finally get my rolls on my feet. And sure. Yay me. Alright, well Spiff will go ahead and go. Boop. Yeah, he'll have to double move to get to provide flanking. Which he'll happily do. And 
Uh, I'll go ahead and target the other aft decked guy and uh, DC uh, 20 will save with hold person. Also, hold. There you go. MVP of the of the battle. Exactly. MVP of every. Yeah, 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 you're saying that like it's a new thing for Ashira. <laughs> Play of the game, and it's just Spiff. <laughs> like a shitty video game you play, like his wings are he's just like gliding around all the cheese. Yeah, okay, it just shows him flying around. <laughs> you're like, what is he gonna do anything? <laughs> All right, I think you killed him. Finally, my first crit. Just, just a little bit though. Just a little bit. That would have been 14, 11, 25, 35 damage. Yeah. Is you like stab him in the base of the skull and then. All right, and Dara's like, I tip my hat to a share. I don't even. I'm not even looking in her direction anymore. <laughs> I've been kind of ignoring that crossbow man. Can you coup de gras with a spiritual weapon? <laughs> no. I think only move or attack. Yeah. Alright. Scrimshaw. Nope. This is unable to steal or heal. Aww. Alright, raise you. Is the guy on my sword still alive somehow? Somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him again then. <laughs> you pull the sword out, he dies. There you go. The sword in the chest was the only thing holding all of his guts. <laughs> Obviously. The funny part is like if he missed, it would have been you pulled the sword out and like a little miss symbol goes about above his head. <laughs> You're just like, oh, what the fuck? All right, you gotta get to those hell people before uh, Ragnar murders them. There's some stairs right next to you. You don't have to walk all the way to those. Yeah, yeah, there's extra stairs here. Yeah, but I don't get another attack this round. So if I go around this way, I can at least delay them hitting me. <laughs> They're held. They're not doing anything. <laughs> oh, well, in that case. I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> they have, like, bands of energy around them holding them in place. <laughs> Can they attack or do anything at all? No, they're... no, you already attacked this round, so you're. Well, no, he's talking about them. They're paralyzed. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah they're paralyzed. Can't do shit. Great, I'm just gonna hang out here then. <laughs> yeah, draw, draw dicks on our forehead. Whatever. Good thing I bought this magic marker. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was a magic marker. I don't see any magic coming out of it, but it writes on things really. Hey, it draws well. <laughs> dicks really, really well. All right, poor still. Got right, her flank on. Yeah. The slip, the the sill and spiff combo. Also, try not to get hit like that. All right, so she this with her first dagger, but she fucking slices open the deck with the second one. Yeah, but he is still still alive. Unfortunately for Yeah. Or not unfortunately for her at all. Dun dun dun. So uh 
she slices open his neck, her sword, but uh, the spray of blood from his neck sprays his hand, and his hand loses his grip on the sword, and the sword flies off over the ship, and now uh, he's dead. Nice. So you're saying this, these Marines are not having a good night? <laughs> not at all. They used all their good rolls attacking the first ship. <laughs> like, fucking two second ones when this dude and his buddy fired the crossbow. Now this dude rolled another one. Nice. Alright, Spiff, we'll go ahead and get his flank on. Take two damage. <laughs> yeah! And that's pretty much it for my round. That was oddly enough the exact amount of hit points. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Smith devours his soul. <laughs> I like to think All that. Ragnar. I like to think that Cell was fighting that guy, and then suddenly, just out of his chest, comes Spiff. <laughs> but Spiff like dives into the hole. Yeah. And his brain, like crawls up into his brain. It's Or uh, he dives into a hole, like grabs on the spine, just flies off in the chest. <laughs> just <laughs> just the runs away with Damn! The, the vertebrae. All the fucking Mortal Kombat shit. Yeah, I mean, Spiff, Spiff is into it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right, now what you up to? Uh, what do you? Oh, he jumped across. It looks like. All right. But you don't have far move. Attack? That'll be the. You're not gonna be able to attack there, though. But you had to move so far. Can you not hear me? I can hear you now. Oh, uh, okay. I heard like crackle. Then I thought you were just contemplating what sort of dick suckery you were doing. But uh, you won't be able to attack, given the distance you have to move there. You are, however, successful at boarding the ship. Yay. You're now on a burning ship. And now I cut the ropes. <laughs> Mutiny. Stinging, <laughs> stinging cloud them. Now! <laughs> if I had another spell, another one memorized, I would. <laughs> I'd like to point out that Raziel and I are both standing on I I don't know what you just you broke it broke up in the middle in the end of that and uh, I'm just gonna assume you said sandwiches. I said I would point out the fact that Raziel and I are both standing on the part of the ship that Pug started out this battle with saying, I don't expect you guys to go over there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because I held them. <laughs> they couldn't leave that area anyway. So clicking the paralyzed condition doesn't actually affect the staff condition. Yeah, I think it takes away dex, maybe, but... Strength and dex are here. It's supposed to be health. Doesn't doesn't actually reduce their their AC or anything like it should. That's weird. All right. All right, he gets chopped in the face by the magical sword. And it popped out of it. 
Bye bye, magical sword. All right. Strip chisel. Steal the kills. He's like, hey man, a uh, cat up there has got this well in hand. I'm uh, gonna go off and burn it both. Yay. I'm still concerned we haven't seen the captain of the uh, marine jet. <laughs> well, that's because it's me. Ashura's over there. She's like, look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Grimshaw swings so hard he tipped the ship over. Kicked over the ship. All right, Raziel. Uh, we're gonna arcane mark this guy. <laughs> Could just coup de gras him. <laughs> oh, can I coup de gras him? Yeah, he's paralyzed. He's helpless. Oh, yep. well, then screw it. I'll just coup de gras him. So you can All right. Go with those damage rolls, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep those. those. Well, I, I take penalties for using that roll versus this roll. Well, it's just damage. It's just damage. The... Okay. And it's auto crit, so the fort save will kill him. Can't That's live enough with... damage to kill him. Can't live without a heart and a liver. <laughs> I don't know, man. You make that fort save. <laughs> you just keep making, like, you make the fort save, you're like, Oh, he cut out my heart when I'm still alive. I am it's like so beating in their hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Still, so coup de gras is a full round action. So yep. you take a five foot step as part of that. Um. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't got anywhere else to be. I guess. Okie dokie. Actually, I'm going to move back down the stairs to here. There we go. Alrighty. Because the captain's got that up there handled. <laughs> <laughs> got the rope. <laughs> so it's hitting him in the head of the bomb. Oh, go to sleep so I can kill you. <laughs> I'm going to wait until the paralysis uh, wears off so we can have a good, jolly old, good, old fi <laughs> fair fight. <laughs> I'm going to wait here. Everybody leaves like he's burning alive. <laughs> <laughs> He just he waves at him while they sink together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ashira. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Spiff will peck this guy's eyes. <laughs> if he if it weren't a full round action, he would have coup de him. Take two damage. All you really need to do is roll the damage twice. That'll be coup de gras. Are you uh, not going to coup de gras there, Ragnar? Just roll the attack button. So, hey, we'll, we'll just use that, that roll right there. So, because whatever. Yeah, that's going to be. Dude has like nine hit points. It, has, it did like 31. <laughs> the dude like stares at you like knowingly as you like slowly slide your sword right into his keyhole because not his throat, your Ragnar, you can't do things like normal. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs>
You snap like you. He's like staring at you with like great teeth. So you like slow slide your sword between his teeth, just like. Yeah. I don't. Know. I don't know. You, can, you can do whatever. It's all good. As, as long as it's more slow sliding and a sword, some sort of opening <laughs> or. And and boner somewhere in there. I have such a raging sword. <laughs> all right. Well, that takes care of all of them. Those dudes are dead. It still doesn't tell me where all the captains are. <laughs> all right. So those dudes are dead. Uh, Sill's waving you guys over. Hey, hey, I think there's some people trapped down here. To point the great bolt. You can save them, Ragnar. Uh, can we start putting the ship out, or is it too too much on fire to bother trying to fire? No, fight? there's no way you can save this thing. Okay, so boat's sinking. Got it. It is burnt past the point of. I, I come over here and check out what uh, what we're what we're being shown. So still points down through the fucking little grate there, the the hold, and it looks like the uh, surviving crew from the pirate ship had been locked down there by. Uh, can we break the lock, or can we? Do is there a key? <laughs> I mean, uh, do, do, do. you make a quick first research of the bodies, and you find uh some keys. I'm assuming we find some keys. <laughs> yes. There you go. Do they work? <laughs> uh, you go downstairs, and unfortunately, the fire is spreading enough not to be able to. Salvage any of the stuff in the hold, but uh, you uh, unlock the chain that holds the one of the hold doors in the hold shut, and the fourteen surviving crew members fucking rush out. They're like, "Thank you for saving us!" Oh my god! And then they get onto our ship and find out it's a slave ship. <laughs> <laughs> well, like they, they got to get on the 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 cello ship first. <laughs> So they flee out. Yeah, unfortunately, aside from them and whatever they have on them at the moment, there is no way I, you'll be able to salvage yeah. ship or confidence. It's all good. I'm going back to the non-burning boat and starting to cut ropes. <laughs> and I'll go back and uh, investigate my... Do you, uh, do you take any from the four, or the four marines you killed? Uh, what did they have on them? Uh, each one had a cutlass, light crossbow, handful of bolts. Uh, wearing half plate. And they each had a vial of oil in their little belt. I grabbed grab the vials of oil? Because we have enough Marines over here on the other boat, we can salvage the rest of the equipment, and I don't want to be on a sinking, burning boat anymore. <laughs> Good times. Alright. I'm going to guess that's Alchemist Fire. No, it's probably just oil. <laughs> Alright, you can All right. get onto this ship. There you go, Ragnar. Uh, you go back in there, and the woman has uh, finally finished vomiting up everything except her intestines. And she's just sitting on the edge of her box, it's like fucking sweaty and horrible, looking like she's fucking hating her life. All right, I will uh, hold my sword on her and ask her her name. Hey, who are you? I am Savantris Tisseron, captain of the Famished Bane, which is the uh, the ship we have uh, apparently just conquered. Yeah. Uh, so you surrender. 
There's uh no point fight. All my men are dead, and whatever the hell that was just made me vomit up everything I used for a month. Which right. shouldn't even be possible. While he's dealing with that, can I take a peek downstairs and see if there's anybody actually still downstairs? Sure. Yep. Go down into the hold. There is any uh, more crewmen down there. All the crew has been defeated. Uh, either died at your hand or died fighting pirates. Good times. So, um, where's. Did the oh, pirate so the, down in the down to the hold? It's mainly just uh, the ship arsenal and supply. Then he's just a warship. All they really concern themselves with is uh, armaments and food. Um, I'll. Search her, make sure she doesn't have any weapons, and then uh, bring her out in front of the rest of the crew. Can we have all the pirates that did escape from the burning ship kind of in one area so they're not just freely wandering the uh, boat? Yeah, sure. Not, nece yeah. Not, not, not necessarily prisoners, but not necessarily free to do what they want just yet. All right. All right, somebody want to make some diplomacy for that or intimidate or... Hi. Right. Well, if they're coming onto my onto the uh, our boat or whatever, I'll go ahead and make. Uh, I'll do an influence. That's, Why not? I'd say we keep them on our boat or on the the middle boat for now. Oh, but... then I'm not gonna say shit to them. <laughs> yeah, I'll walk over there and uh, let them know what's up. Tell them. I'm not very intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> you ram your face into the wall. <laughs> I'll tell them what's up. Tell them that I'm the captain and that uh, they're, um, you know, now press ganged or part of our crew. And, what? And what? what? Why, why, <laughs> Ragnar's, wait, wait, like, Ragnar's like, we saved you from the flaming boat. So now you are forcibly added to our crew and <laughs> you don't have a I mean, I guess you can, if you want to press add more to our crew, I guess, or you can just tell have give them this ship that we're not going to be taking anyway. Why can't we take it? We can sell it. Uh, do we have enough people for it? We have thirty crew. I mean, we've got more than enough to man our ship right now. We could spare ten and put them on this crew, and if we, as long as we don't like outrun each other, we should be okay. I think. I don't know how many it takes to run the ship. Uh, something a third smaller than yours. Uh, reduce their crew requirements by, well, it's still technically a sailing ship, so you need, say, 20. Uh, you've already got 14, so you can spare six crew. But uh, they, they willingly join you. They're like, oh man, you you know, you, you saved us, and clearly you defeated the, you know, the Chelish, so you guys are good fighters, and you're also pirates. And Again, you've saved us from our burn ship, so... Is their Google. captain still alive, or is their captain dead? No, nah, their captain's still Well, in that case, yeah, go ahead and take him. <laughs> like, fuck it. If, if you will take us, then we will gladly join. Welcome oh. to the crew. <laughs> but you have to... You have to, but you have, to win, you have to defeat our previous uh, press game people that are skilled with fish. If you can defeat them, you're in. <laughs> it's a battle act. <laughs> like, fuck it. <laughs> Start and, just uh, handing them a bunch of sails, fish. There's like a in like the third season of Black Sails. Like one of the captains goes out for like his old crew. They're all a bunch of like fucking lumberjacks now. <laughs> so like he comes back with a crew of like lumberjack looking motherfuckers. But pretty much, I imagine your your fishermen crew members are are that. <laughs> like these big like swole ass dudes that just like hit people with big ass fish. Nice. <laughs> We should invite this cellist captain to our crew. <laughs> just just to add discord. No, I'll probably end up killing her. It's a high value target. We could trade them for large sums of cash over killing them. 
Rain yeah. Spink is the thing. Yeah, I haven't killed her yet, but if she he's, gives me He's right trouble. now licking his blade in anticipation while he has a <laughs> raging heart on. Yeah. Why, why, why don't we just take them or her prisoner for now and we can discuss it later when we're no longer, you know, amped up from murdering people. All right, that's why I haven't killed her yet. But I do um, search her for weapons and stuff and make sure she doesn't have any. And uh, I was at a a perception check or something else. What are you trying to do? Search the captain, make sure she doesn't have any hidden weapons. That would... Or you could have one of your crew do it. Sure, the captain. I think he's trying to feel, feel some chick up. Well, that was the point. Ragnar just wants to feel up another one. We, we, can, we can have we can, we can do it. I mean, I mean, is this this is like a noble person, or is this like you know? I mean, this mm. is a person we should afford at least some miracrum of respect because you know, captain to captain, even though they are a prisoner, right? Yeah. Because right. treating our prisoners well goes long ways in people actually wanting to pay ransom for them. <laughs> Ragnar, right. Ragnar can't hear she you is... over his raging boner. <laughs> <laughs> so right well. now she is currently uh currently wearing armor. But uh she left her, her rape thing that's good. You're cutting out a lot. She uh left her weapon in her room, but she's car Currently wearing her own. All right, I'll lead her over to Seal and tell Seal to uh, take her armor, but treat her, um, you know, respectively or whatever for now, and maybe we'll be able to, you know, ransom her at a later time. Seal looks at you, looks at her knives, looks. Have you forgot why? Why, why don't you have the uh, other healer of the group do it? It's not the murderous, stabby, stabby person. <laughs> well, she's on the other ship. So? Uh, I'm, I'm yeah. sure we can get her to come over and uh, and, and get that person into non-combat clothes. I'm sure you can have a crew member a escort the captain to our ship. <laughs> All right, let's do that. <laughs> it's like, right, oh. So, <laughs> Scrimshaw, Scrimshaw looked at you guys, and he's like, He's like, hey guys, uh, one quick question for you, Cap. Okay. He points at the burning ship. He goes, hey, so uh, we we gonna stay tied to this thing? To we're on fire too, or what's up? I already told you I cut the ropes. Started cutting the ropes to get us free. Yeah. Oh, all right, yeah. so Ray Jules cutting the ropes. I wanted us to burn together. I've, I've already said I wanted to go for the, and, the triple and let us ship away. kill. <laughs> all right, so you guys cut loose the the four thing. And it goes to a fiery, watery grid. And I give uh, Jack Scrimshaw one across his uh, across his face for questioning me. Roll just... that up, son. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, wow, that went that went dark quickly. I was expecting you to be like, all right, well, Syl's a murderer, so I'm going to have Jake, uh, Jake, well, I, Jake I mean, Scrimshaw look, do the uh, <laughs> the strip shirts. <laughs> look, man, because we spent so much time banging Ragnar in the butt, of course, some of that semen DNA would get into <laughs> Ragnar's system. So I, didn't, I didn't realize he had there. any seed left since he lost his balls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess you have no excuse then, Ragnar, you're just a bastard. <laughs> you're just an evil bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll I'll lead uh lead the former captain out and hand her over to some of the crew, tell her to take her to our ship and get Sindar to de yeah, take her armor and crap. All right, so Sandar and some of the other crew members help to uh, relieve the captain of her possession. And I'll search her quarters to see what kind of weaponry she has in there. Specifically the underwear drawer. <laughs> I was about to say something about sniffing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I've been out in sea too long. <laughs> All 
All right, so from her personal search, you gain a plus one chain shirt. Wow. Okay. No problem writing it down. Alright, I'm just typing it. I'm just gonna type it out for the posterity's no sake. No worries. Um Razy, are you including the four oil <laughs> to the pile? Yes, of course. Sure. I, I throw it in I obviously throw it in the pile of loot. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure so I can add it. Cause I figure if it's something besides just oil, you'll be able to figure it out being an alchemist, right? Uh, I usually just toss it in the f into the pot and see how it affects you guys. Hey, keep doing you. We're doing all right, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, huh. The crew got bigger after they ate dinner. <laughs> and this one lost, turned purple and lost his hair. Must be an allergy. <laughs> <laughs> it must be. A, must be because of sunscreen. So, so, Captain, I might recommend that we uh, take 10 of our crew, 10 of the new crew, and a couple of um, our, our officer rank people, maybe one healer, and put them on the second boat under command of someone. And then uh, that way we can kind of divvy, th divvy up their crew a little bit. Yeah, you, uh, you assemble a crew and you be in charge of the second ship and follow us. But I do recommend we get this ship changed quickly because we are sailing around on a naval vessel of uh, the Chalish Navy. So I don't want to be in open waters with a naval boat for too long. <laughs> Agreed. Or just don't run into anyone who might pick a fight with the Chalish. Which is everybody. So in other words, we're yeah, screwed yeah. because every so day Ragnar's going to look to his left and be like, Oh my god, there's a Chalish ship and start attacking. <laughs> <laughs> gonna hang a giant Heave to. I cast RK Mark on the ship. It says same team. <laughs> it changes from like Chelish to Melish. It's like, oh, that's different. <laughs> well, we could just permanently split the crew, and you could just sail back to Rickety Squibs and. Um. Yeah, split the party I was, across I was, seas. I was since. since <laughs> Since the rickety squibs is on the way, or at least close to the port we're headed to, anyways, we could drop the ship off with um, a couple of people and then head to the the other place, sell our plunder and everything else, then come back and have the cash to pay for the services rendered on our boat. And are that we... way, we can we can rest some of our crew and rotate, you know, people around a little bit. So are we? So from the sounds of that, if we're taking it to rickety squibs, that means we're intending on keeping it. Yeah, why not? Okay, I mean, we don't have two boats. Yeah, the uh, the closest place where you would be able to sell it would more than like Port Pearl, so you have to go out of your way quite a bit to sell it. All right. Uh, Blood Cove is a a neutral port, so had this been a merchant vessel, it'd be Possible. sellable. But since it's an actual flag naval vessel. Then you'd you'd have to go to a pirate friendly port. I am actually okay with this idea because that means I could be on the other ship and never see you guys again. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, actually, I'm fine with that. I mean, that's definitely an option. Is just gradually getting ourselves a larger, fleet? essentially a fleet. Fuck yes. Yeah. I mean, we could we could then start performing flanking maneuvers on boats. <laughs> that sounds like tactics, and I don't believe our group believes in tactics. We believe in putting people. Facts. Look, we have a tactic. You put also, them to sleep. We stab them. <laughs> also, we now have like six light ballista. So if we combine all our shots into like a single point, it might blister a ship's hull. Well, I was thinking maybe we could sell. <laughs> yeah, one I, or two I, of those. I, yeah, I was gonna say we're probably gonna end up selling them. <laughs> that is for target consider, practice. Consider upgrading depending on how much loot and plunders on this boat and whatever else. Yep, yep. That's fine. I am completely okay with it.
Uh, uh, that's to identify the signet ring. Uh, that's on the captain, I believe, so it's probably something I have to do. And uh, signet would be knowledge, nobility. Yeah. Or so than love. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go ahead and roll for it, go for it. Uh, Captain, I'll go ahead and... Drop the soldier. Uh, holy, all right. Uh, the oil there on that list is counting the two that raised your grab. I'm just gonna do that. You mean counting the four he got? Is it just total eight? Yeah, total eight. Okay, oil of magic weapon. Okay. Yep. So it's actually better than regular oil. <laughs> Good times. All right. Uh, get this. Six light crossbow. And that's the pile of bolts. Now the real question is, who do we need to talk to to get this person ransomed? We can figure something like that out along the way. Because, I mean, if we try and ransom them back to the Navy, the Navy might just respond with, you know, hey, look, here's 10 warships. And then we go, and then we take those 10 warships, and then we take them to uh, rickety squibs. <laughs> so what you're saying is we're about to declare war on the Chelish and take over their country's naval fleet. Got it. I mean, I assume the moment that we joined uh, Ragnar's crew, that it automatically auto-declared war on the Chelish. Damn right. Like, we have, like, minus 3,000 like, relations with the Chelish, just be, being around uh, Ragnar. <laughs> every every second you're around them, you get another 3,000 Thousand, minus. yeah. So that way, if you do make any progress, it's negated yeah. immediately. I mean, you get occasional pluses for, like, for, for murdering people in their sleep and, like, you know, abandoning those fishermen to die out in sea and stuff like that, but it just doesn't compare to the negatives that we get from Ragnar. <laughs> That's his, that's how big his hatred is. <laughs> All right, so from the the ship itself, from the the arsenal and the personal effects of the crew, one point of plunder. Okay. Uh, you can get one point of plunder possibly from supplies, but that would mean no supplies for the crew of the ship. Right. And then the four light list day with a total of forty five gold. So if we're keeping the ship, we definitely when they need the supplies. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. We can take the the three points worth of plunder we have now, and sell it, and that should be more than enough to cover the costs of upgrading the ship, plus probably getting rid of at least two of those light ballista. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean we could figure out what to do with the the ship once it's once we're actually at Rickety Squibs. 
I mean, one thing we have to figure out is who's piloting it. Um, technically, it should be your job as the first mate, because unless you want to stay on the main I don't, ship. I don't mind. I mean, I'll, I'll want to see what the ship is. I have yet to be on it. <laughs> or, <laughs> so. or it would be me next being the bosun. Right. So either me or you can I mean, pick. Now, one thing to note is since, I mean, it we will probably, I mean, it would be Wes's decision, but if we do start going with like a fleet and we each start end up having control of our own ship, that will take autos kind of resolve the issue of people the you know players sitting around doing nothing during a ship combat <laughs> so it might end up just switching to the simpler one yeah we, we switch back to the simple one if, if multiple okay that's i'm completely fine with that i mean we can still mess around with some of those mechanics but obviously if players are split amongst the ships then it, i don't want I, we obviously don't want west to be stuck with like eight, like eight ship roles <laughs> that he has to well, roll they have, for uh, later later in the adventure path they actually switched Okay. Path. So we that Okay, yeah that's really need be. Okay, that's cool. I mean we'll figure it out. I mean I certainly wouldn't mind my own ship. So and You already have your own quarters. What more do you need? <laughs> yeah, I'm sharing it with a um I'm sharing it with fish guts. <laughs> Which I mean he's a good guy. But he is fish guts. <laughs> And obviously, the the upgrade from your own room is your own car. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I got everything written down. I I didn't put down the supplies because we're obviously we're going to be using that for the ship. Um, I'll go ahead It'll and do take the... one point of plunder total. Right. right. Yeah, just go ahead and add that. So we should be up to three plunder. I think we get what another infamy or something. And I'll go I ahead. And, yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and do a uh, nobility check on the second ring. And I am lagging. Holy cow. Uh, and I'll go ahead and use a reroll since I have a reroll. There you go. Twenty-three. On the ring. Yep. All right, so you have three points of plunder to total currently. Right. And eight infamy is for people. Nice. So when we can sacrifice our crew. Don't say that so loud in front of the crew. <laughs> we could sacrifice our own crew. <laughs> All the new people are like, can we get back on the burning boat? <laughs> yeah, include the the hold full of slaves or is that going to be another point of plunder when we sell them oh no that's already been added from last actually it didn't get added did it no yeah, yeah it has it has it been added it. yes it was yeah. it was uh the fish plus two points from the village one being the slaves one being the rest of the stuff and then one point from here okay so that means we're up to four plunder oh no wait the sh the the fish aren't plunder uh it's no, just the fish the fish, fish are just sell them yeah yeah so we're at three plunder and we have some fish if we can get it there in time before it spoils. <laughs> All right. All right, so you guys uh, require as to the signet ring and all that stuff. Uh, so pretty much the cat says uh, she is a member of house. The suspense. Dramatic pause. <laughs> that was just so many fucking double house. Yeah. Do you, you what house was it? Stay tuned on the next episode. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like there's like twenty of these things. Yeah, there are.
And 19 of them are in league with demons. No, there are 20 of them, and 21 of them are in league with demons. I like those odds. Uh, loose relation to uh, House Talernos. Oh, <laughs> Can you type out our name as well? <laughs> Get that spelled right. Nice. And your uh, knowledge and ability check there gets you that. Uh... House Talernos, known for their uh, for their knights mainly, and uh, their military fucking servant. Okay. Their motto is family, field, and fury. Family, field, and fury. And their crest is a purple shield covered and surrounded by. Surrounded by what? Blades. Blades. Sweet. They are a military family. She is a not a direct member of the family. I think she doesn't build, you know, have Thornos name. Right. But she is a distinction. Got it. stuff so is the cap uh all right so i guess i'll be piloting this ship this new ship and is the cap the the chelish captain i guess is going to stay on ragnar's ship yes correct yeah. yeah i'll keep a close eye on her i mean i i know you i i wasn't sure if you can handle the filth <laughs> We'll 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 keep her in the front quarters as as a make, makeshift prison since we don't really have one on our boat, and as far away from Ragnar as we can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff. All right, so. How are you guys going to cruise on? Red Rover, Red Rover, still come over. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's up to you, uh, Captain, how do you want to split any of the NPCs or leave me with nothing but boots? No, I will, uh, I will allow you to choose your crew. Alright, I take everyone, including the fish guys, and... <laughs> Uh, I guess I should leave you with a cook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, just, yeah. it's so tempting. I, well, the first thought, the first evil thought that came up to my head was just to take Sundara <laughs> and leave you with no healers. <laughs> Let Raziel yeah. be the healer because that's, you know, carpenter surgeon. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I do have my snazzy bracers and I have been buying, <laughs> buying well, in that case uh, I'll take Sundara. <laughs> potions from you to Yeah, you just keep Sundara, sorry. <laughs> all right, all right, one second. I'll I'll see who I see see we got. Um uh, I'll take Rossi's Cuswell. I'll start writing this shit down. So I know who I take. Uh yeah, I'll take Shavika. Um, you start with the the fourteen, uh, Vorfang crewmen. Okay. Then add six more. Oh, that's okay. That's perfect. Yeah, I'll take the. What's the what was the crew called? The Vorfang. Vorfang. 
14 Borfang. Uh, I'll take Gifford Tibbs, why not? Some of these characters I don't even, I don't even remember much. <laughs> Ship action, NPCs, there they are. Uh, the, uh, the plight of being a uh, generic NPC. Well, I mean, that's why I'm grabbing some of the ones that I haven't been, like, like that Ragnar despises and never takes along. <laughs> Maybe they'll be slightly more important on my ship. <laughs> Alright. There's one other person I, I want to look up. She has a weird picture. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. All right, I'll take the fourteen Borfang. I'll take uh, Rosie Cuswell. I'll take Shavika. I'll take Slippery Sill. I'll take Giffer Tibbs. I'll take Barefoot Sam's Toppin, and I'll take Jack Scrimshaw. You're taking all the named NPCs. <laughs> well, we have. Well, if you go to the NPC tab and, and, and expand allies, we have quite a bit of them. <laughs> I know, I see that. <laughs> so, for the most part, out of all of them, uh, only two of them are the ones that have seen any combat. And, of course, me and Sil are buddies. Yeah, you can keep Sil. <laughs> Ragnar's like, please! <laughs> he, keeps, he keeps making me pay her. <laughs> Oh, Borfang. That's how you spell it. I kept thinking you said Borfang. Mm, Badger Medlar. I, I might start using her. She's kind of hot. <laughs> I, I see how you judge your kid. So I guess you're really sad that I took Jake Scrimshaw because you know he was shirtless. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't take Ratline? Come on, man. I was tempted to suggest him for the combat, actually. I mean, I don't know anything about him, but <laughs> I was like, well, we haven't done anything with him. All right, good stuff. I like that the water is different. <laughs> it, well, I mean, it's... <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay. Really narrow boat. <laughs> it's so we can get through narrow rivers. Duh. All right. And the ship I'm on is the famous nave. Is that what it was called? It's going to be whatever you want it to be when we get to Rickety Squib. Yeah, but that's what I wanted to note it for. Famished main. Okay. Got it. All right. Crew. Now I'll worry about assigning roles later. All right. So, uh,. Sandara says that uh, once you reach port, there should be a broker's that you can contact to handle ransom. Sounds good. So you'll uh, they'll likely take a fee, but that way you don't have to worry about d sailing all the way to Chelyak to try to ransom somebody. Oh, that would be hell.
Alright, I have a chip. Yay. Mine. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and name it uh, for the li after the late uh, Cahoon and uh, name it whatever that stupid name was. No, just kidding. <laughs> and you've been disposed. <laughs> and <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead and try. It. Yeah, you're like, and you've been up oh, stinking cloud, and then you just start vomiting. <laughs> Glitter dust. <laughs> Glitter dust. <laughs> Freaking gayest fight ever. <laughs> no, no magic missiles, no fireballs, just glitter dust and stinking clouds. It's just kimchi and glitter. <laughs> All right, you each get eight hundred seventy experience point for that. All right, how much? Eight seventy. Eight hundred seven. Oh. Wait, eight hundred and seventy or eight hundred and seven? Ah, that's what. That's what I get for doubting myself. All right. Good shit. All right. So yeah, just type in the chat there. What uh? What? What crew? Notable crew you took over to the other ship. Yep. Way ahead of ya. And so, Cheryl will be the captain. Uh, just for the sake of hierarchy, give me a uh, first mate, the bosun. Okay. Uh, I'll make. I'll have um. Jack Scrimshaw be the bosun, and I'll take. Uh, and I'll have Syl be my first mate. Assuming she's okay with. All right. It. Yeah, she's fine. Why don't you go that <laughs> Make a check. No problem. I'm like I'm actually looking at the uh, the officers for the siren song and looking at all the empty spots that are gonna appear when I leave. <laughs> uh, Ragnar, you need a new first mate. You need a new sailing master pilot. You need a new quartermaster. Well, I guess you technically don't need a new quartermaster, sort of. Must say, you can just be quartermaster of the fleet. Tech I mean, I think you probably should have one just for your personal stock as well. But, but yeah, as far as like. You know, selling as for the fleet itself. I mean, I can handle that. My concubar, the um, first mate, first mate, yeah, or cabin boy. Oh, is it just oh. me, or is that, um, is, um, shit, it's not done. Oh, and I'm taking the shrine. Well, actually, yeah, I'll take the shrine with me. <laughs> we have the priest. So? The priest would need the shrine. <laughs> the priest doesn't need a shrine. <laughs> All right, so Darren, are you staying on my ship? Yeah, I was not selected to change crews, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you'll uh, be the first mate. Well, I was—I I mean, I was definitely not going to make a player <laughs> join me or not, so it's, it's fine either way. I think the first thing I'm going to get for my ship is furniture, because I have none. 